Volunteers from all over the world participate in fundraising events involving more than 2,500 communities and spanning 27 countries. Today, we are all here in this wonderful city of Shetland at the Scenic Veterans Park, and I've been told the hosting site of the inaugural Riverfront Music Revival later on this month. It is here in Shelton that the cancer fundraising tradition continues, and it appears another fine turnout of hundreds of participants spanning all ages will generate needed donations to find a cure for cancer of all origins. I've been told that the organizers of today's events are hopeful in raising more than 30,000 with a stretch goal of 50,000, a tremendous and impressive total for the annual fundraiser. Relay for Life is also a time to remember a loved one, one lost to cancer, or honor survivors of cancer. More people are surviving cancer today than ever before. In the United States, there are more than 15 million people alive with the history of cancer. And the American Cancer Society expects there will be more than 20 million by 2026. When cancer survivors participate in Relay for Life events, not only do you motivate teams to fundraise, but your participation allows each of us to support your, you during your cancer journey. Today's fundraiser walks continues for 18 consecutive hours, and I've been told each year that someone will complete the entire hourly total. My goodness, that's an awful lot of walking and a lot of fundraising. As someone who dates back to the 1970s generation, I would like to remind everyone here today to keep on trucking or keep on walking.